G'day and welcome to Let's Try Defragmente. Uh, let's just check the controls. It looks like it's WASD or arrow keys um, and then spacebar to jump or up. Enter to pause the game and plus or minus to adjust the volume. Let's play the game. Simple little platformer. There's the thing there. Um, looks like... No, we're not collecting things. That's just background. Enter is pause, up, down, down does activate that. Then why didn't the down over here work? I wanted to, oh right, because the door is closed. Oh, right, of course. So this is a game I have on itch.io. Uh, or itch.io or something. Hey, we got a credit card. Um, let's see what it is. Like, let's see what it is, basically. We are Alan a the robot, and we are navigating our way through uh, a dangerous laboratory filled with killer robots. Okay, so we got there. Oh, ah, uh, the whole idea here is you get the card, and the card lets you through. And then here is a killer robot, and we can do this, and then I can go down. And look, there are more killer robots. But we can jump real high and get past them. And we do have much better air control. Okay. And here we go. Don't run into the spikes, obviously. And then... Oh, I think I figured out the problem with my strategy here. I was meant to fall down. So hopefully uh, otherwise uh, not subpar. Well, fairly reasonable air control. Uh, although, frankly, I'm misjudging this. I'm playing the game in a rather small window. Because that's what it shows. Uh, Alright. There don't appear to be window size controls. In fact, ironically, if I had a look at the video preview on OBS... That gives me a bigger image to work with, um, but the microphone is not well positioned for this, so I'm not doing that. Uh, Alright, so we can head down. We're going to need to head back up, uh, possibly. Ooh, that could have gone badly. So yeah, the longer you press spacebar, the longer you jump. Okay, let's see. Aha, uh -huh, shooty robots. Um, I guess we can stand on them. Good to know. Uh, I mean, this is following some fairly good platformer design things. Been terminated. Hey, right. So then, I guess, nope. So I should be able to make that jump. Okay, right. It is, however, on the extreme edge. Well, not the very extreme, I would hope. I'd hope... They give us some leeway, but it is following good basic platform of design principles, or in fact any game design principles, which is to say uh, it makes sure that there is there's a level where there is one lesson that you must learn, and then you can't get past that level without learning it. And I appreciate that. Okay. Boom. Boom. Right. So yeah, I mean, this is fairly straightforward, but it's, I would say this is a fairly competent little platformer. And, and as I'm pretty sure I've only really bought one bundle on itch. And look, this is our first multi-part key, key card door. Uh, okay. That, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it thus far. And it's nothing that I'm going to kind of write home about. Um, but it's definitely a fun little game to play. Okay, we've also demonstrated that robots do not have friendly fire. Oh, yeah. Can't hurt each other. Okay. Whoa. Right. I need that one is definitely much more 
about making sure that I understand the timing involved. Ideally, I want to go just after you fired. But it looks like that... Ah, I know, I know what I meant to do. And again, this is like... Uh, trying to make sure that there is only one way to do things. Ah, itchy nose, sorry. That's not really relevant to you in the audience. Ah, yes. That was what I needed to do. I'm pretty sure that was intended. All right. <laughs> when they both fire at the same time, there are two bullets. Oh, no. Okay. Could have timed that better. And there we go. So it is starting to require more, um, I guess, advanced platforming skills. I did. That's a pretty cool way of hiding the way back. I like it. Um, but, and here it's, it shows you where you're going to end up. Um, it's not at a point where it's kind of frustrating yet. We'll see if it gets there. I'm hoping this isn't like, you know, a giant long game. Uh, generally speaking, when I get things from itch, I'm not expecting something that is big and giant. Well, on the other hand, I've got, I bought Dicey Dungeons on there. And Dicey Dungeons is not exactly a game that you finish in an afternoon. Although you do finish one run. Hmm. I don't know. This is very much a, well, can you jump over spikes on a moving platform? Which I feel like is not actually that uh, advanced a test. Okay. That, however, I mean, obviously, the fact that I immediately fail it twice in a row. Yeah. And the thing is, there's not a whole lot to talk about here. I think it's a pretty well done little indie platformer that. Uh, I'm kind of happy to play for a while, but it's also not something I would ever have gone out and rushed out to get out. Um, I would have kind of been reasonably happy with having let it just kind of sit in my library uh, had I not been doing this Let's Try series. So suffice it to say, I don't expect that I will be rushing back to play this one either. I guess what I need to do is jump it. On the way back, yeah, that's right. Okay. Ah, whoop. there we go. Got there. Finally. Huh, that's kind of cute. Having that by itself there, and now we head back into the main room, and lo and behold, the door is open. And we are out ish. Okay, this is a long on rails section, I guess. How are they gonna make things tricky here? They're definitely indicating something's gone wrong by showing, yeah, more and more chaos in the background. So, I guess the robots went out of control. It's actually a pretty elegant way of indicating that uh, we are venturing into more dangerous and uh, less well-built territory. I guess it's the same kind of thing in Portal where you start leaving the start leaving the bounds of the map, or you start seeing some of the things that uh, it kind of shows off in its later stages. Um, okay, how? Right, I didn't notice you. Ah, how how foolhardy am I? The answer is too much, but let's see. If I try this, yeah, yeah, speedrun strats. And then these ha actually have to be used as a platform here. Oh no, I was so close, so close, so very close. Ah, uh, and now we're doing the trick where it's like, and here's the same room you were in before, but something slightly different? Is there anything different? Ugh. 
the um, red ball down the bottom, I think, has slightly different timing. But let's just take it slower. Yeah, okay. Right. Perfectly timed. Okay. Worth noting that they shoot through each other. Those bastards. No! 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 And down we go! I keep reading the patrolling platformer as one that is uh, one of the right guys. The white guys, not right guys. Jeez. That sounds a bit uh, bad. And that is definitely messing me up. It's kind of funny because it's just that we haven't had one of those guys in a little while. Okay. And there, you've removed the source, the visual source. Uh, let's see. Ah, balls. Uh, okay, so I'm not really talking right now. I should probably try and fix that. Uh, so it's getting harder, which is kind of what you expect. I like the visual storytelling of this lab that starts off with very clean lines. Uh, and then you just start having the more chaotic elements in the background uh, as the platforming ticks up and it's looking like we are through ah that's an interesting no we're not through oh look there are all the other robots so you're getting I mean it is telling all of this with no words the only words it has is when you have a fatal error and even that those words are not very detailed. Huh. So how is one even meant to get that key? Is there anything I can do here? Nope. Ah, right. So this space is no longer consistent. Ah, right. Everything is messing up. Uh, and that makes me wonder if this is actually uh, not in our robot's head. Maybe this is a representation of our robot's memory corrupting and it's not processing things correctly. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely the impression I'm getting. Oh, look, and now it's got slow down and yeah. Okay. That's a kind of cute way of finishing things up. Okay, fatal exception. Very nice. Blue screen of death. The end. Okay. That was pretty cool. Also, defragment. And your robot slowly becomes more fragmented. Right. I mean, it's not a big game. I don't think it's a particularly expensive game. I'm just going to quickly, in fact, check the store page for it. Um, yeah, so it looks like this is... You can download the soundtrack if you want, and yeah, it's just an 18 meg game. Uh, I quite like it. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I think it is. you can even play this game in the browser. I will include a link, as always, in the description if you want to play it yourself. Uh, it's quite cool. It's a quite cool little platformer. I'm quite happy with that. Much went much better than the uh, previous game that I tried, uh, which I think I might just add to the end of it here. So, have a good one. See you next time. G'day, and welcome to a Let's Try a game called Dead Reefs. This was part of a humble weekly bundle. I was able to determine exactly where. Um, but it's DRM free, not on Steam, and it's been a bit of a journey trying to get it working and being captured. So, you're seeing it in the correct aspect ratio, although with black bars. For me, I'm seeing it stretched on my main monitor for some reason. Whatever.
Okay, someone has fallen to their death. Got it. Dead reefs. Let's see what we got. Okay, so I did check the settings. Um, the subtitles are on. And then we've got controls that we'll hopefully either remember or get through. But there's no video settings. Uh, this game runs in 1280 by 1024, I think it is. Something. 4 by 3. So, uh, yeah. Right? Boat. Lots of boats. Docks. Docks. That's the word I'm looking for. Sad pack top. I see. Huh. October 13, October 17, 27, somewhere in North America. We'll pick you up on the way back, Mr. Finvenero. That will give me just enough time. In all the best I see. I hope we won't hear another sound from that cursed ship. Good luck. Thank you. All right, so we've been dropped off. We are, the place is actually called Dead Reefs. And it's got weird stuff on the walls, really? Seems a bit on the nose. Hmm. Uh oh, yep. Yeah. Mm. Wow, so spinny. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. Mm hmm. So you move with Waz, you got these four buttons, I'm sure they do something. Uh, but uh, So it looks like this was intended to also be used with a controller based on the button layout. Sir Amadeep and Venero, his majesty's investigator. That is correct. And you are? My name is William Hook. Well met, Sir Amity, and welcome to the Island of Dead Reefs. As the local clerk, it has fallen to me to relate the particulars of the events that have brought you here to our island. Why don't we retire to the inn where it's warmer? There's just something about how he's saying that. Say goodbye. Okay. Uh, do you want to let me do a thing? No? Game. Okay, click out the window. That, that... That's not worked. That's not worked at all. Game. Game. Please, game. Nope. Game's dead. Game's dead. Okay. Well, I guess you're never going to see this. That game is off my list. Maybe it will be in some sort of, I don't know, blooper or something. But yeah, that game's not happening.